Let's see what we've got so far. I think this was already recording. You have it recording already? <laughs> yeah, that'll be like I just peed right there. <laughs> okay, I'll let it in. <laughs> You gotta tell me when you're recording. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you be at? <laughs> yeah, like right there. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's, I have to have some bloopers. Yeah, great. All right. Great. <laughs> go. Well, welcome back to Cooking Stuff. So, we're gonna do some backstrap. My friend Robert came from Arkansas. And he's gonna show me how to cook the deer backstrap. I've never cooked it. We got some duck too, and uh, we're just gonna figure that out. Yeah, duck's gonna be a curveball for sure. Yep. So let's get to it. All right, not bad there. So first step is removing this uh, silver skin. Sin what else do you call it? Sinew. Sinew. And you wrap the arrowheads around the. Yeah, around the sinew. arrow make shafts the, yeah. with this stuff, yeah. Make uh, dental floss with it. Dental floss. Yeah. Yeah. Sure so, so keep it. And hand it to your patients. <laughs> <laughs> I'll need the floss later, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the idea is to cut it without losing too much meat. Don't want that. It didn't taste that good. Let me get that off. Pretty good looking piece of meat now we got here. You know what? I don't have regular oil. I've got avocado and extra virgin oil. Extra virgin. Olive oil. Olive oil. Rub that on a little bit. Santa Maria style seasoning from Susie Q's in California. Yeah, I like that. Rub that down real good. And season away. What kind of music do you gotta put put to this, John Luke? I don't know. What are we inspired by after the season? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I used to do. Okay. It ain't pretty, but it doesn't have to be. It all comes out brown in the end. That's right. <laughs> Cookie sheet. It's gonna run everywhere. Um, yeah. Yeah, you just it everywhere. I know, I'm gonna be careful. Who killed the duck? Uh, some friends of mine that invited me to go duck hunting and then I didn't go. <laughs> be cautious, there might be a few pellets in there as we yep. eat it. And some feathers. some feathers. Put it in front of the camera though. So there's some back strap. Yeah, yeah. Need to go there? There? There we go. Nice. Right. And then just down in the camp. And then the duck. We'll see how it looks like here in a bit. A little better. It's all about presentation. It's all about presentation. <laughs> this is what makes the fish play. Okay. okay, so we got our meat ready to go on the egg. Egg set at 300. We'll still we'll, uh, leave it on there for about 30 minutes. Flip it over. Leave it on there for another 30 minutes, and it'll probably be done. Going for an internal temp of about anywhere from 125 to 140, depending on how done you like it, but. Medium Don't rare. worry about the internal temp. You can just say, give it 50 minutes to an hour. So you want it on the back side, the big big chunks on the back side, because that's a hot spot, right? On the egg, kind of It's my usual hot spot on that one, yeah. So, smaller one there. Okay, where's the duck? So the duck, we're just gonna lay around the edges and then take it off in about probably 30 minutes or so. We'll flip it in 15. Okay. That's it. Check in about every 20 minutes or so. Yeah, let's see how it looks. It's gonna be good. Let's check. All right, it. let's see how we're looking. 20 minutes into the cook. Okay, the duck is looking incredible. You don't need it. it smells great. Yeah, it is. Would you marinate it in? Um, okay, so it's a mix of uh, just kind of a guesstimated mix of Worcestershire sauce. 
Wor yep. Worcestershire? Worcestershire? No, we're Worcestershire. Okay, we're gonna get that off the hot room. Look at that. Yeah, See, that's hot the hot there. back there. Yeah, that one's gonna be a little bit tangy. So, uh, yeah, backdraft doing pretty good. Everything's doing good. We'll get the rest of the duck off in 10 minutes. So, Worcester Our sauce, uh, garlic, salt, pepper, maybe a little bit of cavendish was in there. That's it. That's about it. Okay. Yeah. And then let it sit overnight. Let's see. I get my thermo pin. So we can start checking internal in a second. Let's see how we're looking. Pretty dad gum good. Yeah, it looks I think good. this is about done. That'll be a little more good, but yeah, that's done. So, oh yep, yeah, we're good. Time Ready to see her? Yep. Alright, let's go get the Sears all. I want to get one of those Sears all things for the map torch. It's made for searing food. Works really well, a lot faster than just using the regular torch. Man, that smells so good. And that is, oh, that's perfect. So that is what we want. Still mm -hmm. real nice and juicy, still a little red on the inside. The ends are a little bit yeah, done. But... So that's the piece that we uh, put back out on the egg to cook a little longer because it was under. Try to slow down over there. I'm just trying to see if this other piece is weak. It was good. It was better. Very good. Way better. What is All right, so. Deer turned going on the left. We've got the green beans and the potatoes I made. We got the bacon. The duck right in the middle. That duck was really good. We didn't get a lot of footage of us eating the duck. I didn't, I couldn't find it anyways. But uh, that duck was great. Yeah. At least the ones that weren't um, yeah. overdone. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Thanks again to Robert uh, and uh, Ron and Larry for coming over and hanging out. It was fun. Um, let to do it again sometime. Anyway, until next time, enjoy cooking stuff.